a translation in English daily used of the Peshito Syriac text and of the received Greek text of Hebrews, James, 1 Peter, and 1 John, with an introduction on the Peshito Syriac text and the revised Greek text of 1881 by William Norton of North Devon. Contents of the Introduction Part 1. The Many Countries in Which Syriac Was Spoken Part 2. Proof That Very Few Israelites in the Time of Christ Understood Greek Part 3. The Difference Between the Syriac of the Peshito Syriac Text and the Popular Syriac Dialect of Palestine Part 4. How we may know whether books which are said to be the word of God are so or not. Part 5. The belief of those Christian bodies which have used the New Covenant Peshito Syriac books. Part 6. Internal evidence that the Peshito Syriac was made in the first century, and that it is not a mere translation of the Greek. Part 7. Characteristic differences between the Peshito Syriac text and the Greek text. Part 8. The result of trusting chiefly to certain faulty Greek copies and slighting the Peshito Syriac. Part 9. Testimonies founded on knowledge and esteem of the Peshito Syriac. Part 10. Chief peculiarities of the text of the Peshito Syriac. Part 11. The design of this work. Part 12. Words in the common version not well understood by some. In words more familiar. Part 13. A list of the more important Greek readings which are followed in the text or margin of the Revised English Version of 1881, but which do not agree with the Peshito Syriac text and are condemned by it. Part 14. A list of the more important Greek readings followed in the text or margin of the Revised English Version of 1881, which agree with the Peshito Syriac text and are approved by it. Part 15. Conclusion and I will try to read through Part 1 in the next video.